Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Cracks at Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me Priya Shadas and today in this video we will be discussing the part 2 of a complex looking easy DI questions which uh, will include question number 3 and question number 5. So if you haven't watched the first video you can check out the link in the description box or the i button at the top which will take you to the first video. And like this if you want to practice more such questions with me live in my classes then you can join me free at an academy i come live at 1 30 pm and i have added my link over there in the description box so that you can follow me there and you will be getting notified of all the new live videos i come up with so that you can ask your doubts and practice more new questions with me over there and with this i would like to tell you about the unacademy's champions league for all the cat 2022 aspirants if you are planning to give cat or any other omit then this can be the best opportunity for you where you would be getting an access to an early free mock that to a full length mock absolutely free by an academy this will be completely in the paper pattern of cat examination where you will be answering 66 questions in a time frame of 120 minutes and this test is going to be live on 15th of may 12 30 pm but if you use my code priyasha 10 while enrolling using the link in the description box for this test absolutely free you would also get access to the four days workshop associated with the test where the top educators at an academy will be sharing their insights and tips and strategies to crack each section separately and there will be a session talk with a topper as well who would be sharing his insights with how to solve or how to crack the examination and with all the perks of a full length mock like of course detailed test reports analysis you would also stand a chance to win up to 100 percent scholarship and amazing prizes like macbook air iphone xr and apple airpods so this is something which should not be missed at all use the link in the description box and my code priyasha 10 to enroll into this free test right now and god's your caliber where do you stand now let's get our video started Hello everyone, so this is the part 2 of the complex looking easy bar graph video where we will be discussing question number 3 up till question number 5. If you haven't watched the previous video, please do check out the link in the description box for the part 1 or the i button at the top. You would be redirected to that video and before starting with this video, I would again ask you to download the practice PDF and try this uh, on your own first so that you get to know some ways of doing it, think on your own and then you can come back to this video and watch the process process by which I am solving it so that there can be some improvement and you can check your answers with it as well. So the bar graph uh, we discussed in the last session will be the same here but the questions will be different. Now if you remember in the last one if I will just slide up and show you we directed you know we had two object oriented questions which can be solved even without solving the entire bar chart or bar graph. Now here look at this one. The question which is coming in question number 3 will demand you to do a lot of more calculations than what you were doing in the previous one. In question 3 it says in which of the following tests were the marks scored by PQRS altogether the highest. That means we have to make a comparison of all the 6 tests. But, but the first step where you can ditch 2 part of the calculation is options. Options is not giving you A and B at all. So that's why you're not going to calculate the values of A and B at all. You're just going to calculate the values of C for PQRS separately, D for PQRS separately and so on for E and F. And once you get all the four numbers for each of the tests, you have to add these four numbers and then see which test is giving you the highest marks. Okay, so I hope you people are ready for that. Now, one thing which you have to always keep in mind is that in such kind of calculations be very calculation specific if you are good at mental calculation good but if you are not so good you can take the help of pen and paper and make sure your accuracy hits the mark okay even if the speed is getting compromised that's not a problem so first we'll make a comparison c d e f c p q r s values okay so when i go up to c uh, in the test C, PQRS is scoring how much? Now, test C is represented by these slanting lines, this one. So, I have to check it for all the people, PQRS. So, how will we do that? We will be uh, finding it out by the difference over here. So, the difference of 48.75 minus of 35 would give you a 13.75. This 13.75 will be a number of 400. Now, how can you make this calculation a little faster and better? 
13.75 of 400 and this number is also 400 so we will we will just keep a note of it all right we'll keep this is 13.75 and we'll keep a note of this number which is 43.75 minus 27.5 which is equivalent to 16.25 that's we have already calculated now these two numbers can be added together like 16.25 plus 13.75 can be added together and that will give me a complete 30 percent now 30 percent of 400 is easier to calculate isn't it so if i was just considering the test c then 30 percent of 400 will be easier to calculate because if 10 percent is equals to 40 then 30 percent will be equals to 120 so that i got as 120 and 120 now needs to be added with 375 so 375 is the base number and we have to check the difference over here. So the difference over here looks 12% to me over here and the difference here is huge. So 67, 67 will be gone. Now 46 minus of 10 is 36 and 36 minus of another 10 is 26 plus 2 that is 28. So this difference is 28%. If you again add them up, you would realize it is 40%. So 40% 40 of 375 is easier to calculate than these decimals, isn't it? So 40% of 375, what you can calculate. Now you know 10% is 37.5. That's easy. And into 4 will give me the answer as 150. So 150 here and 120 here the sum comes out to be as 270. So 270 is the total marks which we get for test C. Now applying the same process of calculation that you will be adding up two percentages, getting the base of 400, adding two percentages of R and S and getting the base of 375, you can get the scores of test D as 280. This will be 280. Test E will be 320. Just to save the time of the video, I am uh, just giving you the direct numbers. And test F will be 240 again. So now when you make a comparison between 270, 280, 320 and 240, you know that option C is stand out to be my correct answer, which is test E, which is scoring the highest total marks of 320. So that's going to be my answer. The process of calculation is what I showed you for the first option, that is C, that take the percentage value for the first two P and Q blocks, add them up and get the total value out of 400. That will give you an easier calculation number. Same do it with R and S. You add it up, you get 40% and that gives you, or 40% of 375 gives you 150. And when you add them together, or 120 and 150, you get 270. And the same process of calculation will be applied to DEF and you will get the respective numbers and then you can make a comparison on which number is the highest. Got that? That is semi-calculative, okay? Now, just go down to the fourth question. What does the fourth question say? The maximum difference between the marks scored by any two of the students in the same test was. Now, for this, you need some observation skills and at the same time, a little bit of faster calculations also. Because if you see some numbers going very close to each other, we have to check that out. So, test needs to be same. Students can be different. So for that, how will I observe this in this bar chart? I'll see for a very big number. I mean a very big uh, area covered. So I can see the biggest area or the biggest difference covered is this, which is 28%. And this one looks again a big one. But here 91.25 minus of 67%. 0.5% would mean a 23% only, 23.75% only. So therefore, the biggest one which is looking me looking over here is this 28% in of by person S. Now make a comparison that where is this test present? This is test C. So check out the marks of P, Q, R in C. The lowest marks visible is 12% difference that is for R. Now, 28% and 12% difference can sum out to be the maximum difference of two people in one test. If you heard me right, maximum difference of two people in one test. So, if I consider it that way, now look, 
this calculation can further be simplified how will we simplify this calculation we know that the base number for both of them is same that is 375 so instead of calculating 28% separately for 375 and 12% separately and then finding the difference our shortcut in this question can be to just figure out 28 minus 12% that gives me a 16% and 16% of 375 will be the maximum difference i'm searching for 16% of 375 would be equals to 0.16 into 375 so if you are good at decimals use this process if you are good at fractions then use the process of 10% plus 5% plus 1% because 10% is 37.5 half of it would be half of 37.5 and what will that give us that would give us 18.75 and that will further be added to 1% which is 3.75 ultimately you will be getting the answer as 60 that is option d so that's how you do this question you just need to use a bit of observation skills to first mark the maximum gap and then with the same keeping the same test in regard get the minimum marks of the person who scored in that test and instead of calculating 28% separately and 6 12% separately you can just difference find the difference of the two numbers and calculate cumulatively for 16% of 375 that would be a easy game to do now the last question from this table how many students scored more than 50 marks in at least five of the given tests when they are talking about at least they want the scores to be more than 50 in five or more there are only six tests we know so 5 and 6 is the criteria remember that okay so we'll check how many students pass this criteria and for that we have to go through the values of all the numbers and we will make a comparison if you people remember for test uh, for person q for person q what were we doing here we understood that 17.5% was 70 70 marks okay and if it was 70 marks then we will make a comparison of which uh, test are they scoring more than 50 so that will make it a easy go for q for the previous question this would be 70 so if this is 70 10% of 400 is 40 so this will be 40 so let me just write it down over here so that we can use the table now this is something where you will be using the entire table okay this will be 70 this will be 40 then again the difference is 16.25 so 16.25 can be written as 1625 like i am good at uh, decimal so i'll just multiply it that way and find out the value as 65 so this value will be 65 now i am not sure if this is visible on uh, my screen or not but i think green looks better here 40 65 and <laughs> even no number looks better it's so clumsy but still i'll just write it for your concern now which numbers are passing the game just see which percentage is 50 now listen this is a very lengthy process what we'll do is we'll try to brush it over and use a better process what is a better process for 400 what is 50 what percentage is 50 Let's do it that way. For 400, what percentage is 50? 50 marks. Can we do this that way? 50 marks out of 400 is what percentage? Zero zero gone. Four can be reduced to two. This can be reduced to 25, and this gives me 12.5 percent. So any fraction or any difference more than 12.5 percent. will be i what i will be considering as or counting as one of the test in which they scored more than 50 marks and the same comparison needs to be done for 50 upon 375 as well so 50 upon 375 will give me a 13.33333 percent that is 13.34 percent so i need to see for p and q in this domain and for r and s in this domain all right so for p and q table go back and check the difference should be 12.5 or more for p are we considering this yes we are considering this 20 is more than 12.5 so we will consider this test 
15 is more than 12.5, 13.75 is more. This difference is how much? 67.5 minus of 48.75 would give me a 18.75, which is yet another number greater than 12.5. 23 is greater and this is somewhere 9 point something. So can we say that for P, 5 tests are more than 50? Yes. For P, 5 tests are more than 50. Now go to Q. For Q, the number should be same. The balancing number is 12.5. 17.5 is there. So I'll count this number. I'll count this. Then 10% is less than 12.5. So this will not be counted. 16.5 is more. I'll count this. 21.25 counted. 21.25 counted. Now 100 minus of 86.25 would give me a 13.75 which will be counted. So here also 5 tests for Q which are more than 50 marks. Can we count P and Q? Yes. Now the number for R and S was more. It was 13.34 if I am right. Correct. It's 13.34. So we have to check the difference should be more than 13.34 or 13.33. This is exactly 50%. Are we going to count this? No. They want it more than 50%. So, uh, not 50%, 50 marks. This is exactly 50 marks, so not counted. Now, this difference between 32 minus 13.33 is 18.75, which will be counted. 12% will not be counted. Now, see, two numbers I do not count. If out of six, two numbers I am not considering, that means the maximum I can get is four. So, why will I waste my time in finding out the difference between these numbers? I will simply eliminate R saying that R cannot have more than 5 tests with 50 marks. Gone. Now come to S. 10.67 not included. 8.67 not included. Same process as R. Since 2 of them are already gone, the maximum I can get is 4, not 5. So even S is gone. So with a faster calculation, we will come to a conclusion that P and Q are the two which will score more than 50 in at least 5 tests. Okay, And that makes the answer as option C, that is 2. So that was all about this video, guys. If you like this video, then please like this video. And the most important thing will be to share it among all your groups, Telegram, WhatsApp, Facebook, whatever you are in. And of course, if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe to the channel as well. I'll be up with more such videos. But till then, you have to take care of yourself. And thank you so much for watching this video.